welcome back to homeworld everyone first time doing commentary on here basically because it's easier than me sitting going through adding all of the uh text because i'm feeling a bit shit still from my cold um so we are either at the store buying a new combine we are getting a matching s790 to the one we had before um gone with wheels you might have noticed in the yard the original one we have it swapped from tracks to wheels basically when i did the update it swapped and i'd always planned to change it to wheels because we had problems with traction on the tracks um so yeah we brought that brought a matching header which is pretty much wiped us out for cash um the bit you saw me faffing with there was trying to get the vehicle straps mod to work it doesn't work with this trailer but it's not an issue because this trailer kind of locks things to the trailer anyway so we're going to hook up the header and try and maneuver this out onto the road and then we're going to go back into the store and we're going to buy another trailer um, my intent is to buy a i need to borrow, borrow a bit of cash buy another rolling trailer the same as we have already so that we can run the ars as a pair carting um, i'm going to stick a front weight on one of them and see if that helps as well just because i've got one of them at the store to so buy a weight to stick on the front so I'll stick the ATAR on follow me and we'll get all this back up to the yard and we're going to start tackling harvesting the oats today. Uh, we have oats, wheat and canola that are ready at the moment and I felt like doing oats first. Um, so I'm going to get everything sorted, get both the harvesters and the two ATAR over to the field um, while we wait for the crop moisture to dry because we have wet fields on. Um, so it's about lunchtime, fields are dried brought the defender over as well to move the headers about just so we can get them set up slightly easier to get everything into the field the plan is to run the two combines on course play um, i had planned to use auto drive to cart but because the yield of oats is quite low i end up carting myself so uh yeah i didn't just sit and watch the computer play farm sim because why would you enjoy doing that right uh, so standard double uh combined course what well, i forgot to put it on lands it doesn't really matter for this field because it's not too big and again the yield from oats is quite low and these combines hold a shed load um, so we'll get the second one set up and we'll crack on basically we are going to be taking ignore the crash we're going to be taking straw off of this field for the cows uh, we need quite a lot of straw probably next year as the cows are pretty close to calving So at both of those running, I am going to go over and grab the, the JCB and the Demco. Um, when I was harvesting this live, my thought was I would use the Demco around the headlands because it's got a big capacity. And I could keep the combines moving around the headland and then put auto drive on to cart with the two ARs. But as it was, we don't, we don't actually fill all three trailers slash carts that we've got so it works out really well they look so nice running together as a pair the pipe on at least one of them i think it's this one is shorter than i would like um, and i'll spend a while in a bit of faffing trying to get the setups right because you know you, you love fs19 you take a vehicle into the workshop to customize it and it forgets all your settings so uh, you've got that to look forward to now so the grain cart is pretty much full we're just going to empty this one before it turns to run back down the field and um, that should be fine to keep going we never actually fill the combines harvesting the oats um, now jumped into one of the eight r's and uh, just keeping things going so now for some fun, um, I am dumb. I brought my 8RT over to run the baler so we could bail while we were working. And I was gonna set it to run on the headland, or on the up down rows. You will notice in the mini map that I've got popped up there, I had another course loaded at the same time. So every time I, which I think was seeding the field next to us with canola. So every time I try and hit go, it jumps across to tries to jump across to the next field um, I realize when I go to try and do it from the start and the start point is not there so we get that sorted and we get course play bailing um, because it's going to take quite a while to get this field bailed um, at this point it's making 6,000 litre bales as well I do add in variable 
variable bale capacity out that to 20,000. Just because we have so many bales on here, we have that whole shed full of hay bales and I just don't want to run into issues with lag and having lots of bales. Um, I remember again that doing this kind of cleanup in the corners is pointless. Uh, 200 litres of oats, that's not worth the time in my mind. Now, and we are making a huge number of bales at the moment, which is why I changed the capacity of the bales. Now, something interesting with variable bale capacity is they've updated the standard ones and you can do a 200,000 litre bale now. I guess that's more if you're doing big cotton fields. So we have one uh, Roland trailer full, so that's 36,000 litres. We have Demco full, which is another 50,000 litres, so that's 86,000 litres. And we've got a bit in here, so we end up with just over 90,000 litres of oats off of that first field, which is pretty nice. Uh, just bringing some of the bales to the yard and trying to store them in the silage shed that we've got there. They need to go over to the cow farm, but I just want to get them out of the uh, open just in case we get any bad weather. This is me faffing with trying to get the right setup. You'll notice that I've taken the big grain bin off the top, yeah, and I wanted the straight pipe, not the folding one. And we have almost no cash left to sort this, but a bit of faffing, and I think I do some of it off camera. I get them so they both have the big bin and the long straight pipe uh, which means we don't have issues with running into the header so we have another oat field to harvest that's field 88 which is the one with the couple of uh, power poles or telegraph poles as we would call them in the UK in um, so we're going to get that done again on course play with me carting the little defender is really coming into its own getting kit into the field it's so much easier than trying to do it with a combine and then back the combine out um, and what I did last time, I was sure doing it here and opening up a little bit of the field to get the other combine in. And it just seemed to make life so much easier. I forget to put the islands on to go around the poles, so I'll need to fix that in a moment. I remember as I bring the other combine over, basically. Uh, some in, I think I mentioned it in the video that's come out today. Actually, interesting stuff for FS22 with the used vehicles. Really excited about that. Uh, I need three weeks to go now as I'm recording this on the Monday. Um, I still need to order a pre-order a copy. I think I'm going to go for Game in the UK because they have the the Black Anthem Mac truck. They have the Black Beauty Fent, although I think I qualified for a code for that, but I never got the email. Um, and they've got another old tractor, which I can't remember, that comes with it, plus the uh, the standard class Terratrack. Um, Terratrack, I think that's it. The, uh, the standard class bonus content you get for pre-order. So you get a few extra vehicles um, for the same price as pre-ordering from Giants, and I think that's really wrong. Um, particularly you know, as a content creator, I want all of the pre-order stuff. Um, but I don't want to buy the 30 quid model of an old Porsche tractor so I can have that in game because I'm not interested in the model and I'm not paying 30 quid for a mod. I'm hoping at some point that will come out for free. Um, I think that's really underhanded and uh, slightly disappointing from Giants. Depending on where you buy it from, you get different pre-order DLC. Um, that's disappointed me, to be fair. Um, Terra Life stuff because I didn't make it onto the Alien Pools stream recently and his computer's now died. So if you like Maze Plus and you want to help out those guys, the Alien Pool has a uh, PayPal donation thing going to uh, fund his new graphics card. Go onto the farming agency page and donate if you like the farming agency stuff. The Alien Pool is key to all of that and a great guy. Um, but so some Terra Life stuff that's come since the last time I was on Paul Street, they have their own version of sour gum coming, which is a silage crop, which looks really cool. Um, they have corn stalk silage. I didn't see that being demoed because that was on one of the German streams, but I read about it and that sounds quite cool. Um, I think they're hoping to integrate the bees and the pollination that Giants have mentioned for some of the crops in the base game into the Maze Plus Terra Life stuff. This is all going to be awesome going to be so good can't wait for Terra Life to come out that's part of the reason that I'm playing on Bergeichland because that hopefully will be one of the early maps that gets Terra Life and I'm hoping I can just move my save across but yeah that's kind of my plan um,
what I'm thinking of doing with the oats because obviously we were we planted wheat, oats and barley to make grain mixture for the cows and all the barley failed because I planted it too late just because of how maize plus barley works is better as a winter crop. Um, I am probably going to sell some of the wheat and oats that we get and buy barley. There is a mod pack, I think it's the farm supply pack that came out recently and you can buy 5,000 litre pallets of most of the crops. I'm probably gonna use that to buy barley so that we can still make the grain mix. Um, we got a fair bit of oats. We filled all three trailers plus a bit. Um, so we now have 212 litres of oats in the silo, which is gonna be, you know, if we just sold it, that's well over probably 220,000 pounds worth of oats. Probably gonna sell half, may sell a bit more. Um, yeah, really pleased with the yield off of that. So the interesting one now, interesting if you're like me and you're a bit of a numbers geek, is I brought this field with, I think, oats in it. Um, I think the, the straw yield of oats, wheat and barley is pretty similar anyway. And um, just before we did the cows, at the end of last year. Um, it had, I just bought it with the crop in the ground. It hadn't been fertilized or limed or anything. And I got 600,000 liters of straw off it. Um, I re remember because I exactly filled five of the big trailers that I had at, at the time. So we can now get to see how we do off of here. We're making 20,000 liter bales. So that would be 30 bales of straw off of here would be the same as we got last year. We'll see how we do. Uh, the straw off of the wheat fields, I'm probably going to sell. I think we get enough off of these two fields to keep us going for the year. So we'll sell the straw off of the other two wheat fields. And that's the only other crops we have in the ground at the moment that will give us straw. So last row, um, I didn't get the bale counter reset when I started bailing this, so we're gonna have to collect them to see how we did. I'm just trying to finish the bale, but kind of give up. Um, we'll sort that in the next one. I guess it's interesting actually coming up when we load the bales up because that's basically a whole bale. So we've got 20 on the trailer so we can fit another 10 on to fill it up. So we'll do that and we'll unload the trailer into the same silage bunker that we stored the last lot in and then we'll see how many we have left. We want at least 20 bales left on the field to have done better than we did last year for the work that was done to fertilize the field. I try and get these on top of the other one, but the barn, the bunker's not quite big enough and it all gets a bit messy. If you're still watching, you know I occasionally do this random stuff. I try not to be completely unrealistic, but occasionally stuff like that happens. Uh, so yeah, we end up with another 29 bales on the trailer plus the almost full bale in the baler so let's call it 10 extra bales or 200,000 litres of extra straw off of that bit. Anyway thanks for watching folks like subscribe comment and I will catch you next time on Homeworld where there might not be a commentary might be back to normal.